I have had my GH5S for nearly a month now, and it wasn't until just recently it was brought to my attention that it has e-stabilization. When I turned e-stabilizer on and noticed a crop, I got excited. Spoiler alert, I wasn't impressed. There's also one thing I would like to put out there in the beginning. I noticed when turning off the lens stabilizer, it also turned off e-stabilizer. So there won't be any tests with e-stabilizer on its own. Standing still, about two feet away from the subject, OIS by itself has a pretty good showing. Two point contact only. Here with the e-stabilizer on with OIS, if I'm going to be completely honest, I can't tell really if it's working or not. Showing them side by side, here again, I, I really don't think it's working, and if it is, it's not doing much of a difference. Here's just a sample without any stabilization on. Definitely OIS or e-stabilizer is a better option. And just for fun, let's throw in some footage from a cheat steady cam. Now for the walking test. I'm gonna walk a short distance and then do a slight orbit on the subject. Let's try it with the E-Stabilizer plus OIS. While walking, I almost think it might be working but I still can't, I can't, I really can't tell. As far as I could tell, it crops the sensor, and then I can't tell if it does anything beyond that. Now for fun, let's throw some Steadicam in. To me, this is how it should be. I would take GH5S with a cheap Steadicam over in-body image stabilizer from the GH5 any day. Now let's back up a little bit further, walk in, and see how that looks. Now for cheap steady cam. I'll have to say, in a pinch, any stabilization is better than no stabilization. But me, I prefer the look of an external stabilizer over the in-camera stabilizers, even IBIS. To sum up, I hope I demonstrated this so you can make your own decisions on e-stabilizer built into the GH5S. I was not impressed. I probably won't be using this function after this test. It wasn't for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to test this further, or test it differently if you think I tested wrong, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.